memo to the Admiral of the UNSC fleet. Dear Admiral, it has reached my attention that a ship which in your possession has been sent astray in the midst of a heated UNSC on Covenant confrontation. I cannot describe to you the disappointment I feel on receiving this news, and I feel it my sworn duty to tell you that you are a big duty head, and I'm wiping my ass with your letter right now. And that's right, I can write with my butt cheeks. Ask your mother, she'll tell you all about it. Sincerely, the chairman of the UNSC military movement. P.S. You suck. Dara is... Is that a... Is that a... Yep. And it's... It's all right. Ours? You betcha. You mean it's... It's really all... Oh. Oh, oh god. Oh god, there it goes. What? Wait. You didn't. <sighs> yep. I fertuzzled my globin. You mean you kissled your wacker? Yes, I bensuzzled my tropatsy. Uh, you need a towel or something? Nah, it's grand. I'll just turn on the fan. Damn it. I hate it when I spill apple juice in my pockets. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, we're just marvelling at this amazingly shiny ship here. It is quite shiny, I must admit. How'd it get here, do you think? Well, judging by the large plasma burns and bullet holes in the hull and extensive damage to the thrusters, I'd have to say it must have been some kind of fuel failure. Whoa! What were the chances it would land here? It truly is a gift from God. Thanks, God! No problem, guys. And for my ill amigos. Hey, we still on for the cinema at the weekend? Oh, sorry, guys. Can't. My kid's got a thing. Uh, maybe next week, then. What a great guy. No wonder his is a prominent religion. He's got my vote. Now, Kieran, I don't want to alarm you, but there might be a chance that there are aliens on this thing. Oh my god. Hey guys, you call me. Oh, sorry god, false alarm. <sighs> That's what they all say. Anyway, I want you to be on high alert. A face hugger might jump out and make sweet gooey love with your face. Aw, oh, sick. Now you know why we watched Aliens five times in a row. You said we were doing that to discover the secret behind Sigourney Weaver's gracious curls. That was reason two. Whoa, what was that? What? I... nothing. I... I thought I saw something. Yeah, I know. I thought I saw something too. Jesus, Tom, where the hell did you come from? Damn it, Dara, don't you ever pay attention in biology class? I don't think that's what he meant, Tom. He was kind of referring to how you just magically appeared out of nowhere. Oh, that? Well, you know me. I just flew here because I heard a large bang! And I came from the Microsoft Corporation, just so you know. That's nice, Tom. So how's things then, Tom? You found some new property ever since, uh, you know. Oh yeah! I found a nice little house just across the way. Cost me a bundle, though. Turns out my insurance didn't stretch towards tragic scrabble accidents. The whole thing did escalate pretty quickly. Yeah, well, I'm into snakes and ladders now. It was voted Europe's second safest and accident-free board game after Monopoly. Presuming you don't use real snakes and ladders, which I don't see a problem with. Hey, you guys wanna come over and play later? I think we'll pass Tom, thanks. Suit yourselves. Hey, Kieran. We're going to see if we can open a few of these boxes. Give us a hand. Well, I can't wait to see what's inside these things. Just imagine what kind of treasures we'll find. Dibs on anything that can cause death. You sure we should be opening these things up? Sure, why not? Like, what's the worst that could happen? Holy crap, Tom, are you okay? What happened? Guys, you won't believe it. I found a set of Harry Potter puppet pals in mint condition. What? Dibs on Dumbledore. Shut up, Kieran. Tom, did you find anything else? Oh yeah, I uh, found some other stuff over there too. Holy shit balls. <laughs> Kieran, don't lose your head. Oh sorry, my head combusted from a concentrated amount of awesomeness. Whoa. Are you drooling at the thought of what we can do with this stuff as much as I am? That ain't drool running down my leg.
Tom, but you now have to tell us about the guns first. Tom? Come on, Hermione. You've got to defeat the evil King Smellybot before he steals all of our Hogwarts socks. Harry, I need to tell you something. I... I love you. Woo, come on, Hermione. Let's party. Yeah, forget Ron, that ginger homosexual. He's not nearly as good looking as Tom. Darren, should we? Oh, Harry. Should we? Oh, do Hermione. something? Yeah. All we're Walk away. Very slowly. Exclamation mark of sudden surprise! Holy shit, not an alien. <laughs> hey, you just shot someone. Lucky. Well done, Karen. You just killed the only surviving member of the ship's crew. Meh, I've done worse. Anyway, I was pretty sure he was some sort of alien. Probably best not to take chances. Don't be stupid, you big retard. Aliens aren't real. Your face isn't real. Neither is your willy, you big gay. You're gay. Your mommy's gay. Guys, shut the hell up. I've got a gun, I've just shot a guy, and I can see myself doing it again unless you lads pipe down. Stop interrupting, you gay. You're gay. You're both gay. You're, You're gay. gay. What the hell is that noise? Lads, look! Oh my sweet monkey ball! Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to intrude on your business, but could I perhaps use a telephone so I can call in an airstrike on your human asses? Ha! Ah, yeah, you see, Tom? Ha! Ah, told it. Aliens are real. Guys, aliens are invading our home! Oh my god! What?